Poggers it does not care about getting bit oh. by Kevin. And they all said we're probably gonna have to euthanize him, but look at this cringe, ah, oh boy. Things are looking pretty good so far. All the chickens seem to be settling into their new home. Eat these cringe little mealworms. They're like playing with this weird flip flappy thing. I have to get the goats out of here somehow. Also, the chickens keep, oh, the baby, no. Okay, gamers, it's nice and cold outside. For some reason, tonight only, and Big Ounce also has this adorable little place here that he lives in. Instead of all these blankets, he just turned this little thing into his home. Just gave him a little bit of fresh water. Little eggerinos are still doing well. My porch is now perfectly clean. Queen's just vibing out here with all the wobbies. But Biggerton is still doing really well. We're a few days out from his surgery. We're gonna see if he even needs it now. And to those of you in the last video that were telling us to take him to a vet, we took him to two or three vets actually. Technically two and an expert. And they all said we're probably gonna have to euthanize him, but because all you guys prayed at the same time, which I genuinely believe had an impact. Get over here, you little dingus. Because of that, his adorable little tumor or hernia or whatever that is. One doctor said it was a hernia, the other one said it was a tumor. Either way, they've both shrunk by about five times their size. Also, I have this pillow here so the hay doesn't get out. His tumor used to be black and bloody and on the ground, literally dragging behind him, but now that's not a problem anymore. So I don't have to worry too much about the abrasion on the carpets or letting him run around. Hey, it's me, that weird yellow frog that Uncle Ben saw on Instagram. Please like this video. Please, please, please like this. He's finishing up his antibiotics prescription and his anti-inflammatory prescription. And those are definitely helping out with the pain a little bit as well. Like I said, you guys, they originally said he's probably gonna need to be euthanized. That's why I decided to bring him inside and take a lot of time just to spend time with him. But I figured if he's gonna pass away sometime soon from this, I'd rather him spend his last adorable little days in here getting really, really fat and adorable. A lot of bad cringe prairie dog owners will give them marshmallows and stuff to make them really fat. All I do is just give this guy hay. That's all he eats, which is the correct diet for a prairie dog. According to the experts that I spoke to, and because it's gonna go down to 50 degrees i have the tortoise inside tonight now 50 degrees isn't too bad but it's too cold for this adorable little sulcata to have multiple nights up kind of temperature would never kill a sulcata tortoise but it could make them more prone to infections and respiratory issues look at this little fella he spends the night in here where it is nice and 70 degrees okay now i have to get the goats out of here somehow i'm gonna try and use this to get them out so these are our two new sheep oh, oh, oh the baby no no oh he was just giving me a little hug oh i'm about to just grab these boys and throw them. What if I just pick that little man up? Also, the chickens keep... No, oh, the baby, no, stop, 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 please. Please, please, please. The baby, stop venting. The baby's imposter. The baby was imposter the whole time, you guys. The baby was imposter. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> Isn't this fun? This is fun. I'm having fun. Let's go. And now they're locked in here. All the chickens seem to be settling into their new home. They have all these eggs here. I need to start eating these, honestly. And they got all this food. Look at this absolutely perfect creature. I just went ahead and cleaned all this stuff today. So this whole little area here is now neat and organized. The goats are free ranging. So the goats and the sheep have all of this fresh grass to eat here and the minecraft sheep are grazed what's awesome is they're half the size of kanye they're about the same size as the goats and i'm pretty sure one of them is pregnant old uncle ben has wanted two little minecraft sheep for the longest time and we finally have which means i am now a shepherd again instead of just a cringe goat herd but they all love this little area in here and this is where i keep them for the most part but in order to help all the grass that's growing back in here i'm gonna go ahead and let them run around the property our adorable little remington just sleeps here every night for some reason. Look at this precious boy with his sweet, sweet folds. What do you guys think of this precious little creature? Sometimes I like playing with this weird flip flappy thing. Sure don't know what this little flip flappy thing is for, but I do like touching. Remington's about two years old now, you guys. Maybe a little bit older, so he's definitely very old for this breed of turkey. I don't know exactly how much time he has left, but I know that he's enjoying the time he has here. That's how he sleeps. He just kind of nestles his face into his wing. All right, everybody, I just sat here with Poggers for an hour. That's all he gets for the next two years. That's all the attention you get for the next two years. Don't expect anything more from me. I'm burning these giant logs that were honestly too big for us to just have in here. Now I'm finally almost done burning things. There's now no more trash out here for me to burn. All that stuff we're going to use for garden beds. This quad is still broken because it's a Coleman quad that I got at Orsha. Uh, you get what you pay for sometimes. And now the only thing left are these little stumps here. Puggers, give me some personal space, please. As you can see, my two years of training this young man to be the perfect dog have paid off swimmingly. 
And I'm like, Queen, this man only wants to be next to me at all times. Wobby moment. And they have all the grass in the world out here. Look at this, you guys. This is all the grass they have. They have tons of really nice, tall grass to eat. Hoggers just jumped that fence over there like it was nothing and ran to the way back of the property to bark off some coyotes. Some of it's almost up to my knees. And of course, we got the geese over here, which for some reason, they picked this little corner to make their nest, which is kind of cute. And Pob and Queeb are back on patrol again. I'm not sure why the found is like this. One little strain here is super long. Why is that? The clappies are thriving, and pretty soon I'm going to let them out here so they can swim in the pond, which will be completely done in mid-April. Look at this cringe, ah, ah boy. And and all the rat tights seem to be enjoying this lovely evening. Huggers and Kevin have it out for each other. They really don't like each other. Look how he's snarling. <laughs> oh, look at how cute Poggers is when he's angry. Oh. <laughs> Poggers does a great job of keeping Kevin away. He's literally protecting me. This is Poggers' victory art. <laughs> oh. See, Poggers does not care about getting bit by Kevin. See, he can just bite him right back like that. And he's protecting me. See, he's wagging his tail in between my legs. Real fans know that Poggers was raised with Kevin and would never actually hurt him. Him. Poggers doesn't need to do that with any of these other animals because they all love him. And Poggers can tell the difference between them, so he knows not to attack one of the adorable little boys. But look at his little face when he gets angry and gets all scrunched up. Look at him showing his teeth. They even work oh. together to scare off coyotes. Hey, it's me editing Ben, reminding you guys to subscribe. And also, I make all these videos on iMovie. Look, Kevin actually bit his teeth. You see, and Kevin just runs right off, and Poggers isn't hurt. Let's see your face. How's it looking? See, he's fine. Poggers is protecting me. <laughs> and Kevin is protecting protecting his egg. Poggers will also keep Kevin from attacking any of the other animals. So if Kevin and DeBaby get into a little scrap, Poggers will stop it. Now the only emus we have is this little one with the messed up neck. This little fella who was half blind when we got her. And her eyes are still a little bit buggy, but she doesn't have any more issues. She can see perfectly fine, I assume. Homelander had splayed legs and he is now fine. And while Queen likes to run around and explore the property, although she still loves me, Poggers never really leaves my side. He is the perfect little mix of fun little guardian dog and little fun pet. Queen is my perfect little mix of more of a guardian. And it's nice to have both types of dogs because while Queen will stay up all night protecting the farm, Argus will stay over here and sleep near me. And they basically both end up taking shifts. And because both of these little boys were forcibly neutered by the city, I don't have to worry about a bunch of little babies being made here. But I was planning to get them neutered anyways. Still have to be careful when I feed the pigs because the new ones are very food dominant. And Poggers and Queen both love the sheep. And the best thing is that they're both shepherd dogs. Both of them have a lot of great Pyrenees in them. Because of that, they're used to being around sheep and goats genetically. So these guys are not scared of Pog and Queen, and Pog and Queen don't mess with them. This brown one here is the ram, and he will headbutt you. Because he's so small and cute and doesn't have horns, it doesn't hurt. Look at these goofy things. I was told that you don't need to shear them, but I think before the summer, I'm going to. Because it's going to get real hot this summer. Also, these guys love hopping up and playing on my brand new subfloor. But things sure have come a long way from the beginning, you guys. It's hard to believe that only a year and a half ago, this was all a crack house. And Tank and I were flipping over barrels of oil in the back. And the best part about everything is when they're done, they're ready to go right back in their little building. And they actually love their kennel. Okay, Queen, go on in. This is where they sleep every night. Look, you guys, I'm doing it. Just scooped up this little dingus with my bare hands. She's getting a little bit more used to me. Good morning, you Ugandan knuckles. Where are you going? I'm enamored by the small movements of this strange creature. Good morning, Ugandan knuckles. Please enjoy some mealworm. I was about you eat these cringe little mealworms, Ugandan knuckles. Wow, look how precious. As you guys can see, I've been working with her a little bit, just picking her up and playing with her. Now she does escape from her little cage pretty often. And I'll just be walking around in the middle of the night and I'll be seeing a tiny little thing running around that's spiky. And it's honestly a little bit scary because if I stepped on this little fella, it would probably hurt a lot. I am planning on getting a little wheel in the corner here for her to run around with, but she can literally jump right through those little cracks and she likes to run around the house all night. She has not fought with Big Ounce who now lives in this bag instead of all these blankets that I got for her. Also, it's gonna be nice and warm for the next few days. So I'm putting Master Ugwe, <laughs> putting this boy out here so he can eat all this grass. For the next four days, he can stay outside. Also, while you guys were all snoozing last night, I stayed up all night and built this entire house by myself. That's right, you guys, as you can see, I'm the only one here conveniently at lunchtime. And I built this entire house all by myself. I'm about halfway done with the framing. This is all the framing for the new building. But like I said, you guys, I did this all by myself. And pretty soon, this is gonna be the new house. That's gonna be the old office. And we'll use part of this building for the rescue, but for the most part, it's gonna be that building and this 
this building for the rehab. It's good to see the goats are already comfortable in my new bedroom. For some reason, all the chickens will come together as a flock during the day, but the I am Kamanis will separate themselves and sleep in the barn. Get off my porch! But things are looking pretty good so far. And as soon as this is done, I can finally have volunteers and interns working here regularly and not have to worry about them invading my personal space. Also, I traded that last little egg that we got in the last video for those sheep. Good morning, everybody. I'm playing Minecraft with this adorable little emu here. We are rehoming him. Like I said, I traded this egg and James Charles here for those adorable little sheep. There's about 200 sandhill cranes flying above my home right now. Okay, now I'm gonna power wash the deck because Tank destroyed it. That's your update for now though, guys. I'm still working on the property here all by myself. I'm finishing up this house. These people are me. That's how fast I work. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next- Oh, almost forgot to tell-